I hear a lot of companies, me a lot of clients, and I hear sentences like, we have a, we have a data first strategy. And that puzzles me sometimes, that kind of statement. When it comes to a strategy, you should only ever have one kind of strategy, which is a customer first strategy. And of course, data to support a customer first strategy makes sense. When we think about growth, we, we coin this phrase, better growth. Mm. And what do we mean by better growth? That is sustainable long-term growth, which can only be fueled by an understanding of who your customer is and what it is they want, and very importantly, what they're willing to pay for. What we've seen in the past is there was almost a FOMO uh, to collect data for the sake of collecting data. Companies think more data also automatically mean better insights, and that's not always the case. In fact, uh, more data, right, uh, you have to tie to a certain purpose. And the purpose could be definitely something related to the business that, that generates value or generates sales. Data sort of hangs around things like products mm -hmm. or business units, very internal focused things. Um, it rarely hangs around customer. And I think that's the big pivot to talk about things and say, well, why don't we put the customer first in our, how we structure data, how we put it together um, and how we then start to connect the dots. The best advice I can give is to really try to understand the why. So we, we understand, mm -hmm. like, usually in businesses, there is a, an action, a customer bought something. So we, we know what happened, but we, we don't really know why that happened. What was the, the underlying drivers? Very often our customers leave little tidbits of data everywhere. And that very simple piece of data becomes then the fuel for this growth strategy, really to the question, all about what is it the customer wants.